Hello, 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 hello. I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 11 and has autism. And we paint together, working on his fine motor skills. He helps me paint the backgrounds of our paintings with a hand over hand method and then I paint the rest. So I'm just kind of, ooh, I have lots of sneeze. I've um, just kind of adding a little texture to the background. Um, it's already got a lot of the colors and different things in there. But I'm just adding a little extra um, and if you've watched before you know a lot of this if not all of this will probably be hidden beside behind um, some flowers but I'm just kind of doing it to change it up a little bit so um flowers it is i i don't know why i'm on such a flower kick um but here we are i'm on a flower kick so i've been doing some bunches of flowers i've been doing a few other kind of designs but mostly right now I'm stuck on these bunches these bunches and bunches and bunches um, and I, I really I don't have a particular reason <laughs> it's like the same little flower that I'm kind of stuck on I'm not quite sure and um, the color palette tonight is interesting. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that goes with this pinkish background, but we're just going to keep making flowers until we get there. So, um, I'm going to try not to do exactly the same thing tonight as I do 90% of the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to add a little different. Um, I generally start right here and it, this was hard for me to start up here <laughs> but there I did it I did it um, you'll notice when I I paint a lot um, I only use yes I use this brush but when I'm doing a lot of the flowers I only use one brush um, I I like the way the um i like having the texture of all the paints on top of each other um and so like i don't use water these are acrylic paints so i don't use water to clear um them off after i've painted the first kind of like layer and so i like the effect that it gives it um because it's probably really, really hard to see on here, but in this flower, there's a tiny bit of the orange left. And that just makes me happy <laughs> to have it in there. Um, I will, like, you can see, like, I wipe off my brush and sometimes I kind of pull it. Um, but you can see that there's still so much of the, I almost said flavoring. The flavoring, otherwise known as colors, um, on the brush like how that came through um, and it makes it kind of you know unique on each one of the um, I guess we'll call them petals <laughs> um, I, I laugh because I'm terrible at names of flower like if I'm even trying to make something look like a particular flower I'm really bad about names so um 
is just kind of funny to me. Kind of funny um, how that all comes about. But we're just going to keep kind of working all this in. Um, like I said, I have all these interesting different colors um, for a pink bat. Oh, that was, I think, <clears throat> I was thinking I all these different colors are kind of more like um, a spring bouquet than we're heading into fall right now. Um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we want flowers whenever we want flowers. Just kind of interesting to me. So, and I said I wasn't going to do all the same flowers as I normally do. But, guess what? <laughs> guess what? Can anybody guess? Yes, these look the same so far. Um, but, that's okay. We just keep going. Keep doing. We'll get through... We'll figure it out. Sometimes I squish them in there like they're different angles. Um, which, again, it's all kind of relevant to... Relevant or irrelevant. Uh, uh, I can't even say it. Irrelevant. I still can't say it. Um, to what we're making here. But it all works out. And it all works out. Mm -hmm. um, I like these kind of red rust kind of colors. Um, I like how they shine out make a little different or something I'm not sure okay now um I gotta see like what colors need to go where and with what and like I said I don't try to um not mix them because I like it. I like it when they're all kind of their own shades of something. Shades of all the other ones. Um, <laughs> I laugh because I still call them grocery store, uh, grocery store flowers. I can't say it. I Every time I, I, someone was wonderful enough to share, um, I, cause I, I don't even know why I didn't think about this, but to go to the, like to translate and see how the word is said. And it's like amaryllis hysteria. I don't know. Um, but I can never say it, but they're my, one of my favorite flowers. They're so pretty. They're the little ones. They kind of like a, look like a, a little bit of a lily. Um, uh, but you can get them like, um, I'd say like now they're probably not three for 10 like they used to be, but, um, you get them in the bunch, um, at the grocery store and, uh, they're in lots of different arrangements and everything. So, but that's what these kind of, some of them kind of remind me of because there's so many colors in those flowers, so, um, I need another orangey one, and you, mm -hmm -hmm. I'm surprised how much I'm like this little bunch is making me happy with all the colors when you look at it on the plate and then you think this pink background <laughs> i'm trying to decide i want another one over here um 
And this needs a little bit of blue over this way. Just for chagrins. I think I need a yellowish that almost caused havoc, I can tell you. Because we almost had it everywhere. Um, sometimes what I have to do is go back and add in what would have been like on top of it or underneath it. Um, and this one had a lot of the, which is fine, but has a little bit more of the kind of yellow, a little bit of the yellow to shine through there. Um, Something a little different. I kind of like that. Now I'm going to randomly just stick a red ish color in there and kind of up there. And a little bit of that. I try to kind of add these like little hidden kind of not like they're full flowers but they're minds of their own you know um and now I'm gonna go back in and kind of oh thoughts. this is one of the thicker brushes that I um even though it looks kind of thin, um, this is more like, this is a little bit thicker. It's hard to tell with all that paint on there, but this one's a little thicker, and so I just have to kind of watch what I'm doing um, when I do the little lines. Because I want them kind of thin. To show that they're, you know, um, like stems, but not too much. And then sometimes I put them down here, and then sometimes I don't. I may, hmm. I'm just going to kind of try to do like a little more of a, almost a leaf, where it's a little thicker. But I don't want to get too much um, you know because it's it's not abstract but it's kind of a little like the leaves and the flowers so I just I don't want to give it too much extra or something I'm not really sure so there we go mm. Um, I need, it's funny, I don't have much pink, like the pink flowers, um, so I'm gonna do just like a pink thing there, and then just a little pink in there. Okay, so I always sign this O for Owen. And then L and B. And then what I do is I take all this and um, I mush it around. Um, I'll do it better so it's kind of flattened out there. And then um, I make jewelry and magnets and different things that's a magnet um from it that inside is the paints and so that's what i do with it so i thank you for watching and being a part of our day so i hope you have a great rest of yours and toodles